Wow, this one looks this great. Is loaded. Is it loaded? It is loaded. What are you doing, lady? I'm writing down the stuff we can plant out in June. A whole bunch of stuff that we haven't started yet. Yeah. It's pretty much di direct. Direct. What? It's hard to talk when you're uh, yelling. I know you're excited. Hey, do you want to go pick blueberries? Mm -hmm. No hesitation mm -hmm. whatsoever. Mm -hmm. What about you? You want to come pick some blueberries? Yeah, let me finish this list and I'll come with you. All right. I think we are going to do baskets. They're in the shed. Let's go get a basket. Good morning, beautiful people. It is a fine, slightly overcast day. And uh, we need to pick some blueberries. Uh, we we uh, walked by the, the orchard yesterday and it was like, we really need to come pick some blueberries. There's a lot that are ripe. So, not this one. Not that one. Let's get a clean one. This one's a clean one. Here, we'll take this one and wash this one out. Apparently, I'm gonna have to catch up. You know the way. Oh, to everybody who asks every video, how is Meg's herb garden coming? Not a whole lot of change. Uh, we have been very, very busy. A lot of life has been going on. A lot of stuff, just, you know, life. The stuff that happens that isn't really noteworthy. Just going here, doing this, doing that, doing the other thing. We haven't had a minute. I feel like I haven't had a minute to do the things that I need to do, and Meg is also in the same boat. She hasn't had really any free time to get out here and work on this herb garden. So that's where it's at. Uh, if we get to work on it, we will let you guys know. Buggy, we should go over here and check these blueberry plants first over by the corn. So the corn is probably about waist high. It's doing pretty good. I figured I'd show that as we walk by. Our berry patch is looking pretty good. I bet you we have some ripe berries. There's a giant one. I haven't been out here in a few days. Mm, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It looks ready, buggy. Wow. Look at that thing. Okay, let's put it in the basket and we'll show mom. That's huge. Isn't that this a massive? Is huge. That's huge. That's as big as your hand. Yeah. It's big as the cow. Here, put, it, the kitty. put it in the basket and we'll show mom. Here, right, let's see if there's any more. There should be some more. Well, I hadn't planned on picking blackberries, but apparently they're starting to come on. We're almost there. Now, I don't remember what we planted right here, but I have never seen like pink blooms on berries. I know we have thornless blackberries, like these, like these giant canes. Oh, don't eat it. Here, you know what? I'll go show mom, and then you can eat it. Knew she couldn't contain herself. Whoa, that's huge. Wow. I told her not to eat it, and I hear slurping as I'm over here talking. <laughs> wow. Isn't that big? That's massive. <laughs> Why don't you eat half and share half? You, you wanna take a bite? Take a bite. Take a bite. A chomp. A chomp. Was it good? Mm -hmm. Can I bite? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. It's a little tart. A little tart. It's a little tart. <laughs> thought it was ready. Not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. No, I thought that was going to be pretty good. Oh, that was pretty tart. These still got a ways to go. Yeah. Oh, man. Chomped? Chomped. Oh, bummer. A bug That actually doesn't look. That might have been a bird. Uh, well, you've seen them out here. Yeah. Was. Yeah, I keep seeing the mockingbirds come down here, and they keep fighting. Like, I think one of them has a nest around here, but I see mockingbirds fly down, land, hop up in our blueberries, snatch a blueberry, and then they fly over here on the driveway and eat it. Yep. Yeah, I would say the, uh, the birds have stripped this patch pretty yep. much clean. Like, there's not a lot of blueberries in here left, which is fine. Next couple years, we're gonna have so many blueberries, we're not gonna know what to do with them. All right, to the orchard. So I was out here last night and I picked a bunch, kind of like right in here, and then I ran out of hands. <laughs> <laughs> ran out of room. There were more blueberries in there. 
Now there are no blueberries. Now there are no blueberries. Maybe. Maybe I need to hold. The maybe basket. you need to hold the basket can and I the buggy the basket? can pick. Okay. You can help, Daddy. <laughs> oh wow! That That's some nice yet. looking strawberries. That one's wow! Wow! That one's almost ready. Those are ready. In case you're watching, Billy, those are strawberries you gave me. Those are going to take over this orchard. Those are the kind of strawberries we like. They're doing great. They're doing great. Yeah, that one's good. Go ahead and pick that one. Mm, that one can go a little bit longer. There's really nothing better than fresh strawberries. Dada, I'm picking. Okay. Make Are sure you? you pick the ripe ones. Picking and eating. <laughs> Still picking. Ooh, those are huge. I was gonna pick that one. Go ahead, pick some. Well, that one tasted like blueberry. <laughs> yeah, some of them, when you, if you get them real ripe, taste perfect. Okay, and that's the end in this row. These got planted after the blueberries, yeah. so we don't have any blueberries down there. Next row. That's the color you're looking for. Almost black. Yeah! <laughs> Is that a lot of blueberries? <laughs> Look at these. These are almost the size of grapes, some of them. Yeah, these are big. Couple of them. Last row. Yeah, that one got bug eight. Or bird eight. Probably bird eight. Millie? Up to no good. Yeah, this row didn't do very well. Um, I don't know what the deal was. We lost probably, let's see. We lost one. Two. Two or three blueberries in this row. And then I've added a whole bunch of trees. Wow, this one looks great. Is it loaded? It is loaded. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> what does it mean? It means there's a it lot. means there's a lot. Well, pick them all. Pick them all. Pretty close to it. Man. Let's see. Let's see how we did. That's probably about a pint. Hey, that is not bad. It's really not bad, especially considering I picked a bunch last night and ate them. And ate them. I know it's not like an amazing harvest, but like it's, it's still a harvest. And it's really cool. Like it's really cool. I think what's also really cool this year, we're getting more than we got last year. Yeah. Last year we planted them. They had berries on them when we planted them, so I don't really count that. Yeah. But this year, we got blueberries off of our land. Yeah. It's really cool. It's kind of cool. All right, let's go up and go inside. Okay. And cool off. And cool, and cool off. off. It is kind of hot out here. Pretty hot. All right, on the subject of strawberries, we went and picked up quite a few strawberries from one of our favorite strawberry, organic strawberry farms. And my intention is to make strawberry jam with them, but Brett asked if he could make chocolate dipped strawberries. So he's doing a special project for that right now. He's got his chocolate melted in here and the strawberries are washed and ready to go. So I guess you're ready, yeah? Okay. That looks pretty. What is that, Charlie? Is it good? Good. Shovel it down the hatch. Careful, it might be hot. Thank you. Mm. There you go. It is that time of the night. <laughs> so we're kind of like fast track. Got some stuff to do this afternoon, so here we are. Like running around Today. town yeah. for several hours. Yeah, that's a lot of bacon. That is a lot of bacon. Well, I told Corbin to bring me two packages, and he did, but I didn't realize one of the packages was like really stuffed. And now we have a lot of bacon. <laughs> hey, 
Perfect. Carbonara with lots of bacon is delicious. It is, yeah. Plus, I mean, honestly, that's some really fatty bacon. It is, yeah. So, so most of this will cook down and we'll just have bacon grease to cook with later. That's all right. So like I was saying earlier today, it's a whole day ago for me, but it was probably two minutes for you guys. <laughs> We have been very, very busy with life lately. Uh, we've had a lot going on. Um, we had your sister, Joan Rachel, they came out. Um, and then after that, it's just been go, go, go with just stuff that we've been dealing with. And you know, my parents are gonna be here this weekend. And it's just like, we're in a very busy season of life right now. I think on top of that too, it's like, garden season is in full swing yeah. and we are so far behind everything yeah. i haven't started a single squash like there's there's some volunteer squash coming up here and there and it's like good at least someone planted them because I, right? I haven't we are on the struggle bus like, here luckily like we had kukuzis come up in the greenhouse voluntarily and we moved them yeah. because i haven't started seeds and like i was planning on growing a lot of animal food this year yeah and it's not happening. So, uh, if you guys don't see a whole lot from us next week, it's because we are visiting with my parents yep. and enjoying our company. We will be here, we will be fine, we will be having a good time. Yeah. So, that's uh, kind of a heads up. All right, well Meg is actually getting dinner going on. I am going to do something we should have done a couple days ago when we picked them. Yeah. We picked all of our peas, that's what we wound up with, and we need to shell them. Yeah. And uh, get them, you know, like that. Like freeze them. So we can freeze them and have them for later dishes. Uh, but sitting on the floor of the kitchen and slowly dying is not what I want to see happen to our uh, pretty good sized harvest of peas. Know. Like for never really having good success with peas, we did pretty good this year. Yeah, we did great. All right, so I'm gonna sit here and shell some peas. I suppose if uh, I start filming dinner, I should actually like clue people in on what you're making. Make Good old standby. Yep, the carbonara. It's quick, it's delicious. Fills belly. It's easy. Now, doesn't traditionally carbonara have like spaghetti noodles or something? Yeah, but I'm out of spaghetti noodles. So, what kind of noodles? Usuli. Usuli. All right, dinner is ready. Let's eat some food. How's everybody feel about this meal? Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Was there even any words? It was just grunting. It was just a lot of grunting. That's yeah. a house full of young men, so. No, no kookaburra. No kookaburra at the table. The things you say with a toddler in the house. Yeah. No kookaburras. <laughs> I think that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys don't see us next week, you know why. Uh, we'll pick it up the following week if we don't get around to filming next week. So, hope you guys have a good weekend and we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye! Bye.